morning we just parked up on the A591 near Grasmere crossed the road took a footpath to the left past Nosshouse Farm took another left and now we're heading up to Stone Arthur we'll cross the ridge over to Great Rig and then eventually Fairfield and then we'll see where we get just me and Billy it's an absolute beautiful morning there's the village of Grasmere below us you'll soon reach the summit of Stone Arthur the path is relentlessly steep but once we're up there we're on the ridge and it's all easy going after that well most of it is across the Lyle Beck and we've got a flat section for a couple hundred yards it's not so icy this morning it was cold when I left the house about minus one but it seems to have warmed up now there doesn't appear to be a lot of ice on the path The hill over the other side of Greenhead Gill is Heron Pike. Lots of new pitching in the path here. They made a lovely job of it. Nice and wide and they've pitched it nice and flat. Really, really impressed. Look at that. Beautiful. Made a lovely job of that. They really have. There's Stone Arthur, up there in the sunshine From the car, you'll get up here in about 45 minutes Just over a mile Stone Arthur Summit, 504 metres It's a Wainwright and a Burkitt and what a view you get from up here From Stone Arthur we'll head north along the ridge for Great Rig which is just up there and then eventually Fairfield That's Great Rig just ahead of us not too far now My plan today once reaching Fairfield is to drop down to Cofer Pike find the call down there between Cofer Pike and 
St Sunday Crag there's a traverse path that takes you off the side down to Grisdale Tarn which is somewhere over there that's Dollywagon Pike in between the two hills from Grisdale Tarn we're going to head up onto Seat Sandal here and then later today we'll drop down the ridge of Seat Sandal back into Grasmere that's the view to the left of us looking over Helm Crag and Steel Fell the furthest away hills are Great Gable and the Scarfells behind us in the distance we've got the Coniston Fells and Coniston Lake to the right of us we've got Rydalbeck down in the valley and Windermere just under the sun there Great Rig Summit 766 metres it's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt and a Nuttall cold wind up here that's Fairfield straight in front of us now a little bit of snow on the top just to the left of Fairfield we've got Helvellyn below Helvellyn Nethermost Pike and Dollywagon Pike We're not too far from the summit of Fairfield now Fairfield is a huge long broad summit plateau seems to take forever to get to the summit but it is a high mountain we're coming into a sprinkling of snow and ice now Fairfield Summit, 873 metres it's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt, a Nuttall and a Madeline
from the summit of Fairfield we're going to drop down to Corfer Pike and then back down to Grisdale Tarn there's Halvellyn in front of us that just there is the more direct path to Seed Sandal but we're going to carry on around the side of Fairfield and drop down the ridge there's St Sunday Crag in front of us and Corfer Pike below us I'm going to go over the top of Corfer Pike into that col and then drop off the left hand side down to the tarn it's a little bit scrambly on the way down to Corfer Pike got a nice little erect to cross I'm just being careful on this rock because it could be slippy Billy showing me how to do it. Easier look, easier. Nice little ridge of Corfa Pike. Just met a young lad called Ollie at the base of Corfer Pike. Said he was going to subscribe to my channel. So if you do, Ollie, and you're watching, thank you very much, mate. It was lovely meeting you. Hope you had a fantastic day. Corfer Pike Summit, 823 metres. It's a Burkitt. And there's a rock star. A nice little down scramble off Corfa Pike. the wrong way come on down here good boy
The down climb's not hard. If I compared it with anything, I could maybe compare it with the down climb from Haystacks into Scarth Gap, which I did a few weeks ago. If I was to compare the two, I would definitely say Haystacks was a lot harder than this. Just which way you're putting your feet, you know, it's quite exposed on some of the parts up there. Um, you know, also we're very high up, so if uh, you had a lot of snow and ice up here, you could have problems. Just down here in the col, we're going to find that path that runs off to the left. That's going to take us down to Grisdale Tarn. That's it there, look. Just in the bottom of the col. This is the path that runs off. There's St Sunday's Crag. Let's go and have a look, eh? Why walk when you can fly? It's a good traverse path, runs all the way to the tarn. It's not as steep as the one off the end of Fairfield, just nicely runs down, nice and slow. And then when we get past the tarn, we're going to head steep up that wall to the summit of Seed Sandal. Just look at Dolly Wagon Pike over there, absolutely beautiful. I've got a video I did earlier in the year going up the East Ridge of Dolly Wagon Pike and I've also got a video going up that ridge behind it, the East Ridge onto Nethermost Pike. And I've also got one coming down that ridge, striding edge from Helvellyn.
we're on the quiet side of Fairfield now you won't see too many people on this path in fact I've never seen anyone on this path Most folk won't know this path exists on the side of Fairfield above Grisdale Tarn there is a lower path closer to the tarn but this path actually brings us out in the coal directly below the wall that gets you up seat sandal which is just there in front of us we've dropped a huge amount of ascent coming down of Cove Pike about 300 metres so we've got about 200 more to get back up to Seat Sandal. At the call there you could actually carry on and traverse right round the side of Seat Sandal which would eventually get you to the top of Raysbeck and then down to Dunmill Rays. So from the shelter here in the Grisdale Hawes it's straight up there to Seat Sandal. That's the other path I mentioned earlier today, coming down off Fairfield, the more direct one. There's the broken down wall I mentioned earlier that we follow up Seat Sandal. The path's just to the left of it. The broken down wall runs all the way down to that shelter and all the way to the top of Fairfield. Head down and we'll soon get up there. Eh? Tarn's well below me again now. That's what I like to see. It's always hard coming a long way down off a mountain to then have to go back up. Another one on the other side. But we kind of got used to this kind of thing. In Scotland, Southern Uplands, and also in the Howgills, they're notoriously steep. Lots and lots of ridges in the Lake District, you don't really get this so much. Well, not unless you make it up yourself. <laughs> I better look at our route. That's Fairfield there. Kofa Pike, we drop down Kofa Pike into that call then we dropped down that call and traversed along the side until we hit Grisdale Hawes Seat Sandal Summit 736 meters it's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt, a Nuttall and a Madeline it's a proper big pointy mountain seat sandal drop offs from every side and it's got a lovely ridge that runs southwest all the way back into Grasmere we get a beautiful winter sunset from this ridge and a beautiful view of Grasmere and Rydal Water. There's a bit of moisture in the air now. A few planes going down full here. You can't see Helvellyn now and Great Gable and the Scarfells have gone too. Coniston Fells is still looking nice. Initially, the ridge runs southwest and then it turns south. That's where we're heading. It's 
Biscuit is still cleaning north and so is Grisdale Pike and the Coldale Fells. There's the ridge running south down there. So head down the ridge in the direction of Grasmere. The path's a bit uh, faint and sketchy, but there is one there. You'll pick it up. Look at this light now, it's absolutely gorgeous. To the left of us, the fell sides are lit up below Stone Arthur. There's Steel Fell to the right of us. Dropping down to Helm Crag, silhouetted in the sun. Look at that light on Stone Arthur, where we set off from this morning. All the way up that ridge, there's Great Rig in the shade, and there's Fairfield in the sunshine.
it's a nice grassy ridge all the way down it runs down steep so you get down kind of sharpish all the way down to the gate here and back beneath the fell wall gates open The last of the sun has just dropped behind Helm Crag. There's another route just over there called Little Tongue. It's another route down from the Grisdale Hawes. You can't get down there from Seed Sandal, it comes down off from the Hawes. That's why we didn't come down because we wanted to do Seed Sandal. That one there, Little Tongue between us and Great Rig there. There's a big old ram there look having a little bit of fun with the lassies the one with the red back <laughs> look at him what a beast in fact there's a few rams in here <laughs> there's two more down there let's hope they're friendly yeah I've never had a problem with a ram yet but there's always a first Once you get down to this little building in the corner of the field there's a gate on your left takes you onto a track and then down past the pub Well that's us almost down to the road, this little track takes us back down to the A591 just before the Traveller's Rest where we've got about 100 or so yards to walk up the side of the road, there's a footpath on the verge, yeah what a fantastic day, beautiful route in the high mountains, the route was about seven and a half, eight miles long, so yeah I'd like to say thank you for watching. If you like my content, please think about giving me a subscribe. And I'll see you next time. So it's bye from me. And it's bye from our lad, the Rockstar. Wherever he's at, I think he's behind me. Easy, yeah.